Well, a trip to the King Power awaits more than 3,000 travelling Bristol City fans and we will be facing Nigel Pearson's old club, Leicester City, at the King Power this Saturday. How will we cope against arguably the strongest side in this division? Well, Enzo Marischka's side are the hot, hot favourites for the Championship title this season and after relegation from the Premier League after a long stint in the top flight, is really expected. The quality is dripping in that squad. Keenan Dewsbury Hall, Gilechi Iannaccio, Jamie Vardy, still all absolutely brilliant players. On top of that, they've added absolutely fine during the summer. Cesar Quesedi is coming on loan from Chelsea. Connor Cody, Harry Winks, Matt Hermanson have all come in as well and have just improved that Leicester City side even more. Well, there is the obvious narrative around Nigel Pearson returning to his old club. And Pearson has returned to old clubs in his time at Bush City in the past, Hull, West Brom, etc. But this just feels a little bit more different. He had so much success in his two stints at Leicester, with arguably the biggest achievement being the Championship title, the League One title, and then also escaping relegation in the Premier League in rather ridiculous circumstances. They were down and out but they somehow managed to claw themselves back in keeping Leicester City up. And then that just laid the foundations for what was arguably the best season in Premier League history, with Leicester City going on to winning the league under Claudio Ranieri in the 15-16 season. Well, it's not just Nigel Pearson returning to the King Power, actually. Matty James and Andy King, two centre midfielders for Bristol City, will both be returning to Leicester as well, both enjoying long stints of success and both part of that title winning side in 2015-16, as well as ex-staff member Dave Rennie, who was now head of medical physio at Bush City. He will be returning after decades of service at Leicester as well. Well, the narrative is certainly there for City to go out there and get the three points at the King Power, but it is not going to be that easy, is it? Leicester, as I mentioned previously, lots of quality in that side, really good manager. And it feels like it's finally ticking for Leicester for first five or six games. Kind of felt like it wasn't really at it. They got they got the performances. They only lost one in seven games, but it never really felt like they were in full gear. They were always in second gear, tight one 0 wins, late goals. Never felt like they were actually properly ticking. But in the last two games, they have been remarkable. They've been really really good and two of the toughest away games, arguably, in the Championship, and they've won it both by an aggregate of 6-1. They start with the 4-1 spanking off Southampton at St Mary's, a completely ruthless attacking performance with Steffi Mavdidi shining for Leicester there, and then a more comfortable but equally as impressive 2-0 victory away at Carrow Road and against Norwich. It was a bit more of a different game, but still Leicester were absolutely on song and got everything they deserved. Well, Bush City can steady stop the attacking quality from Leicester in terms of how he sets up, and that will be very interesting to see on Saturday. In goal, Max O'Leary, right back. Well, it could be George Turner, Taylor Garner, Hickman. I would prefer it to be George Turner at the moment because of his defensive ability, but he's also played two of the three games in the week so far, and with it being a hectic schedule, it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if it was Taylor Gardner Hickman either. But for now, I'd go with George Tanner, Zach Viner, and Cal Naismith. I think it has to be. Cam Pring at left back, Jason Knight, Joe Williams, and Matty James in centre midfield. I think we've kind of moved on from the giving Joe Williams a kind of rest in the three game weeks stage. Sam Bell, Mark Sykes, and Naki Wells up top. It has to be. Well, I'm perfectly aware. I've just named an unchanged side on Saturday. And with it being a three-game week, we could potentially see a few changes. And with us already having four points on the board from those first two games, and with this kind of being a little bit of a free hit, wouldn't surprise me if we got a few changes on the other hand either. But why or how those changes imp- impact the squad and the style of play, I have no clue. Well, I certainly don't think Bush City should be going into this game with fear. And despite the attacking qualities of Leicester I've highlighted, there shouldn't really be much we should be concerned about because at the moment we are, I'd say, riding the crest of a wave. But we also have to be a little bit wary that we don't leave ourselves too exposed to the back because when we did go 3-1 up, I'd say, against Plymouth, we were a little bit loose, as Nigel Pearson mentioned in his post-match presser. But we also need to make sure that we are also carrying a threat going forward. And I think with Sykes, Sam Bell, especially 
them too, and as well as Nike Wells, and with the pressing and the high energy system we do deploy, hopefully that's a change, and hopefully we take the game to Luster. Finally, I, this is going to be a really good litmus test in terms of where we think Bush City actually are, in terms of the progression under Nigel Pearson, and where we see ourselves at the end of the season. If we put in a very good performance and we lose 1 or 2 nil, that's fine. Obviously, that's kind of it to be expected, but if we are completely obliterated and just completely outplayed, then maybe we have to reach your expectations a little bit. But, as I said, really good litmus test in terms of where we are. And I do think these are two sides really high on confidence and really willing and really be able to win the game as well. So, despite the quality and the years of Premier League experience Leicester City have, I do feel like we definitely carry a threat in this game and that is something I would not have said a couple of weeks ago. And building off that, I do think we can definitely go there and get something and that would be a bloody good result, getting a point at Leicester, but we can also go ahead and win this game because of the attack and quality we have shown and the performances we've put in against really good championship sides um, the last couple of weeks. So, for that reason, I'm backing us to get a point and I wouldn't have done that I'd say a couple of weeks ago, as I said, but I really do think we can go there and get something and kind of disrupt their momentum a little bit. So that's why I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Very optimistic. And uh, now we'll probably get beat through a 4-0. But it's a really good litmus test in terms of where we are. And I really do expect this to be a very open, very exciting game. And I was right when I said that versus Plymouth, it'd be a very exciting game. Five goals eventually, so hopefully that openness can allow us to use Sam Bell, Mark Sykes, Jason Knight's energy, Matty James's passing, his technique, technical quality, Cam Pring's dribbling and his directness, and hopefully that allows us to really, really hurt Leicester on the counter-attack. And well, that's completely, completely optimistic and tad unrealistic, but let me know your score predictions down in the comment section down below and I expect a lot of L's and a lot of defeats but look it is what it is we're playing the championship teams are going to get relegated from the Premier League with a lot of quality we will be facing them we will be having to get something against them a few times so hopefully this is the start of it and hopefully the narrative as well as the quality and the performance we put in recently can definitely help us in terms of achieving that and getting a result. So that is it for the match preview. If you have enjoyed it, hit like. If you haven't already, subscribe to the HR Bristol YouTube channel for more Bristol City content in the future. If you're going to Leicester, good luck. And yeah, hopefully we get the three points for you because that would be a ridiculous away day as well. Thank you very much for watching. Keep safe and I'll catch you all later. Cheers.